Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Mind Over Magic, where today I think our mission has to be to get some level 2 wands crafted. Right now we only have one person using a level 2 wand, and that's Jarrett there. So Jarrett is currently the most capable person we have in the entire school, so really we do need some more level 2 wand users. So I think the plan has to be, get some level 2 wands crafted, give them out to some new students, skill those students up, recruit them as teachers, and then with a bit of a heavy heart it must be said we can then retire the old level one one teacher so Dave, Betty, Bernard, Danny and even Frost can earn a bit of a retirement it'll be hard to let Frost go because Frost is an absolute beast in the fights but you know level one wand is it going to be really helpful doing the great big fights in the deeper levels of the underschool I do not know so I think yes that is the plan I mean it's going to take a while it's going to take a while to get that done these are going to be around for a little while longer so don't get too sort of used to the idea of retirement just yet you folks there's going to be a little bit of a gap before we can get that all sorted so remind me what do we need to actually make the wands i can't quite recall so the nature one going to there actually so the earth wand is wood stone and po ah, that was it potions of recharging that was the kind of sticking point wasn't it okay so we need to get some sort of potions of recharging on the go, which means we need to get a little alchemy table type thing. Now, is that what we're currently trying to unlock? Boil and bubble is what we're trying to do. Where is that? That is over there. And that would give us the alchemist station and also a potion of rejuvenation. However, where is the potion of recharging? There it is. Okay, so once we've got that done and we get ourselves a little alchemy station set up, that's going to be quite fun. We then need to do that down there, pick-me-ups. So get that, get the potion of recharging, and then we can start crafting some level 2 ones. Okay, right, that seems like quite a good plan, so let's get time moving on. Now what we do have to do as well, hang on, if we go into here, the school is quite well lit, except for down here. This room is a little bit kind of dismal, and it is producing the annoying void shroom thing, so possibly... Let's get a little kind of candelabra thing down into here. There we go. Is that going to be enough for that fairly big room? I don't think it is, but we'll put one there for now. We'll put one there for now and just see if that helps. I did just see something. What's that? What's that? Oh, no, that's one of our quilted helpers. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's a quilted carrier. I thought it might have been a little kind of troublemaking thing being a nuisance. But no, it's okay. You're very welcome. You can help out. In fact, yeah, a few people did point out as well over here on the spindle thingamajig we did say can we make a recycled quilted carrier but we haven't queued up make a recycled quilted sweep so let's get that in as well and um yeah just do that forever as soon as you can make a recycled quilted sweep just make one because we might as well it just makes sense to do that can we drag these around a little bit can we move those out okay right that's quite handy so make the quilted sweeps, make the quilted carriers, and then if you can, go and recycle them. Okay, wonderful stuff. There we go. That's all looking good. I think, have you moved the stuff over to here? Oh, thank you, Stitches. You're called Stitches. That's very good. You've got another, what, just about three days of being around, Stitches. It's lovely to have you on board. I think Paisley just did the magic thing on that just there, I assume. Is that now a thing you need to go and deal with? I don't think... Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, Fro uh, Fog Reclaims Room. It used to have a little kind of, um, like, a bar. And, oh, it's up there. It's up there. I thought it was over here for some reason. But with the camera down here, it looked like it was part of that crack. But, no, there we go. So he went down and sorted that out, which is very good indeed. That's very helpful. Thank you, Paisley. Right, so runtime on very quickly indeed. Let's get all this sorted. And what we could do with looking at whilst we're here, if we nip over here, can we try and figure out if any of these rooms are going to be helpful in terms of an alchemy station or whatever. Is there going to be something helpful for making potions? Is it going to be something in here? Is that helpful? That's research rate and scrivening rate. I don't even know what scrivening is right now. Isn't that like seeing into the future and stuff? Is that not what that is? It would be good if we could get one of those in. That would be brilliant. We could potentially... We could potentially try to make one. Oh no, we need a bell tower and roof decorations. Okay, we're not quite at that point just yet, but okay. Uh, a mage's study. Is it just a workshop? Is it a workshop? That's research and crafting rate. Okay, so I assume the alchemy station is crafting. Okay, so we could 
we could get ourselves, I mean, that's, yeah, they're all workshops there. That's just a regular schoolroom, but we can't fit anything into there. Could we, depending on how big it is, fit the little sort of, I don't know, the potion station thing into here? Can we fit it into an existing room? Or even in here, look. Could it go in here? It might make sense if it went in there, look. And at least, yeah, that room is then you know, given a purpose. Because that room really is just currently a storage room. Which is a little bit naff, isn't it? Or it could go in that one as well, I suppose. Okay, I think that's what we have to do then. That's what we have to do. Uh, right, so let's get time ticking on nice and quick. They are currently building the um, thing over here. That's been taken out, which is good. I don't think that one candelabra is going to be enough to light that room entirely. But we will see. And no, not quite good enough. Not just yet. Okay. Now we do get into a situation here. How are we looking with the bedrooms? Okay, so we have two bedrooms all sorted, which is good. Is it now worth going to get the third one sorted? And then we could dismantle all those rubbishy beds there. And then that room would be free to go and do something else. We'll have a nice spare room. So yeah, maybe we could have a look at that. Why didn't we do this before? Can't quite recall. So yeah, a couple of plain beds. We can upgrade them to fancy beds eventually at some point when we can work out how to do that. But I think, yeah, we'll just do this for now. So get this up and running. So make it the same as the other one. So there we go, like that. Um, going to need something to give it a bit of luxury, aren't we? It's currently got three luxury. I think it needs five to become a proper bedroom. So uh, yes, yeah, so we've got the two there. Uh, we'll give it, again, we'll give it the couple of windows. I do quite like the windows. I like the round windows and they look good. So we'll have one there and one there. Um, and then, yeah, what can we do for um, for luxury in here? Uh, that doesn't give luxury, does it? What's Where's that thing? No, not that thing. Where's that? Solemn pedestal. Is that construction? Is it furniture? I think it's furniture, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we could do that. Or a hallway runner. Luxury plus one. A long carpet for hallways adds luxury. Um, I mean, is it worth... Is it worth doing that? Just make the rooms a little bit different. So that one's that one's got a solemn pedestal. That one's got a nice kind of rug. And that one's got something else in it, like a hallway runner type thing. Could we just sort of do that? A bit like that. Is that going to work? I don't know. We'll see if that works. A little sort of hallway runner thing right up to the sort of a little burner thing there. We'll give that a go. We'll see if that works. Right, pop the resource panel back out. Oh, we are massively low on wood again. Hugely low on wood. Okay, chop down these trees here. Chop down all those trees. That's going to be wonderful. Um, in fact, you know what? Grab all of this. Everybody grab all of this. I think the students should be relatively free. And um, yeah, they've all sort of got stars on them. Have we changed the schedule? Olive and Pranas. Oh yeah, and also now Noah Lani you can go into there so you can go and help out there's no point in you doing any learning noelani because you don't need to do that i think we've done the research i think the research is done okay this is exciting uh, let's not forget about the fog by the way don't forget about the fog uh, so furniture wise we can now make what was a large bookshelf okay that needs rune wood and ash parchment okay we can't do any of that right now but crafting wise we can make an alchemist station. Ectoplasm, iron and stone required. We can get that done. Okay, right. So if we then put that in here, for example, if we pop that into here, that maybe we'll turn that into a, was that going to turn that into a workshop? What do we need for a workshop again? So we must have one research or crafting station. I assume that it would count as a crafting station. Oh, it's not lofted. It's not a lofted room. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> Again, more fiddly requirements going on. I mean, all these rooms are nice and empty as well. Could do something with those eventually if we can figure out the right combination of things. But, um, okay, so it's not lofted. I mean, we could, we could just slap a wall and a doorway in and just sort of work it that way. That might work out fine. There is a window there. I'd have to move the big window over and then... Possibly move that over as well. And then we could have a number of workshops down here. How wide is that? It's only three wide, isn't it? So again, we could do the same with that. And the same with that one. 
maybe that's what we have to do. Or do we build it along here somewhere? Do we just pop it just here? Just make a new little really thin, slim room just there? But then these aren't doing anything. What are these rooms going to be? I mean, can they be a woodcuttery? Uh, oh, plus 50% wand crafting rate. What? What, what, what? Plus 100% tree growth rate. How does that work? One or more wand shaper. Two or more trees. Can, how do you have a room with trees in? How, do you, how does that work? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Can you put um, tree planters? That ah, These are require wood. These will require much in the way of wood, I think. Yeah, bristlecone tree planter. Sunshadow tree planter requires 60 wood. We've only got three. We've got plenty of the sunshadow nuts. Hang on, if we can make a special wand crafting room, then we might as well go and do that because that sounds wonderful. Oh, and look, there we go. It has become a bedroom, even though it's got the missing bit just there. Um, right, so this is not allowed for students. That's not allowed for students. Absolutely not. And then over here, we can just get rid of all of this stuff. So uh, yeah, disintegrate that, disintegrate that, get rid of that, and uh, get rid of that. So they can all go, and that'll free up that room. That also does give us a lovely rug down there that maybe we could put into here to try to turn our assembly hall into the next one up, which is an auditorium. So I think, yeah, it's grounded. We can put some more. I know it's got the sort of uh, right. It's got a solemn brazier thing in and a, whatever one of those things is, a mysterious floaty thing. So it's got that in. It just needs 35 or greater luxury. So maybe, yeah, let's pick that up. Can we move this, please? So move that over here. Uh, we'll just tuck that there. So yeah, you can walk through on a lovely rug as you go along. That's quite nice. That's quite fun. Um, oh yeah, we're not doing any research. We should possibly do some research. Although, I suppose now we're not doing any research. It means that Paisley is out here helping out a bit, which is quite good. We've done a good job of clearing all this out. Look at this. This is wonderful. Uh, we'll gather that and we'll gather you as well, because why wouldn't we? And there's just a great big pile of grot over there, which is good. And that tree is going to go as well. Right, 105 wood. So... Sun shadow tree planter. Can it go inside? It can go inside. Oh. Oh, maybe this could be our wand room. Could that be our woodcuttery room? Oh, this is exciting. There's a whole new room that I didn't realise we could possibly have. Um, yeah, so 50% wand crafting rate. It's got to be grounded. It has to have three or more large windows, one or more huge window. Okay, that's fine. We can work on that. But the only sort of condition is it's got to be on the ground, which this one is, which is brilliant. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this into a sort of a wand crafting room type thing. Um, and then, yes, all we need, three or more large windows. Oh, we can't do the large windows, can we? We can't do the large windows because we need some other stuff. Um, hang on, where is it? Lighting. What do we need for the large windows? Frost glass. Okay, remind me again, game. Here we go. Right, frost glass. How do we make frost glass? Uh, is it in there? So, Cronebug pen. So, a Cronebug pen must be hatched. So, we need... But to do that, we need rune wood. Okay. Right, so we need rune wood for that. But we can't make rune wood until we have a refiner bird whatever it is. We can't hatch a refiner bird until we've got people with level four wands or whatever. Okay, right, fine. Let's not do that then. We'll set the room up and then have it ready. I, yeah, that, I, I just want to build all the rooms games. Stop giving me all these ridiculous restrictions and things going on. I just want to build exciting things. Right, so let's now go to wands. So we've got that done. We can do level two lightning ones. Oh, no, hang on. No, not that up there. I want to do that down here. We've got that done. We've got that done. So that's the three. So here are the other ones. So there's one over there. What's that do? Wandering Mage's Grave. A uh, place to bury a character's corpse. We'll spawn a spirit that will scout the fog and bring back Smoke Pearl. Oh, Oh, that's quite useful. That's quite a handy thing. Uh, that's a quilted miner and a recycled quilted miner. Oh, there, there's loads of recycled helpers. Uh, right, there's the tier two dark wand. 
And then we've got the tier two. It was the fire wand we wanted, really, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that one there. So a tier two fire wand, please. Research that. And then, yeah, just get that done. Domesticated Phoenix Kiss. Not so bothered about the actual plant. I want the wand, really. That's what we need. And then we'll do the pick-me-ups thing. And then we'll see if we can actually start crafting stuff. What else did we need for this? So Hatcher Weaver Bird was air. Okay, so the next one after that is an air wand. Okay, right. We can work on that. We can work on that. That's going to be fine. And then, um, yeah, well, the bedroom. At least they're done. At least we have got six bedrooms done. So, oh, not six bedrooms, three bedrooms, six beds for the teachers, which is good. That's quite good. So, yeah, that room is now just sort of, you know, empty and waiting to become something else one day. So, yeah, maybe, maybe we should think about starting to work on this as our little kind of woodcutting thing. Although, what do we do with them? What do we do with, is that a room as well? Is that a room that we need to kind of work on? I like the idea of these, by the way. A painting studio and a sculpture studio. We haven't got any of these things yet. Can we make an easel? I don't think we can do easels. I think we have seen them. We've seen them in the, um, where would it be, furniture. We saw them in the research list thing, I think. But I don't think we've built one. But, um, okay, never mind. So, yeah, I don't know if we have a thing which means that that's going to be better. Uh, yeah, is that going to... Oh, hang on. Could that go into a thin room? Does that count as a, I don't know, where, what do we do with this? Does this does it need to go into a workshop? I don't know if it does. I'm not entirely sure what kind of thing that goes into. I don't really know. Um, yeah, not basic classroom because it needs a learning stone. It's not an intermediate classroom. Oh, okay. It's just basically saying, to, giving us ideas about what that room could be. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. So I think, yes, let's try and get a woodcuttery set up over here then. So if we get ourselves... Yeah, it's the large windows, but we can have the trees in here. So have the wand shaper down here, and then the couple of trees, and then we'll just see what we can do with that. So we'll grab that from there, and we will move that down here, because I think the room has to be relatively big. So if we put that to the side, next to the candle thing, that's going to be quite good. So pop that there possibly move that there and then was it two trees was it two woodcuttery was uh yeah two or more trees yeah okay so then we can put the trees in so we can say uh yeah we'll just have i don't know do we have one sun shadow tree there's the fog and one bristle cone tree just to make it a little bit different possibly yeah we'll get one of those in I mean, they are very big, <laughs> as you would imagine, because, you know, they're a tree. So we'll do that. And then the other one's going to have to go there. Uh, and then was it lofted as well? And it just grounded. Okay, that's fine. So just grounded, but then it does need the big windows in. Okie doke. Right, but there you go. They've moved that over. So the one shape has now been moved over into here, which is good. And now I think they're just applying the wood to the tree. The only thing is, I think we're going to need a lot more wood to get, get the other trees in. So, yeah, do that, do that. All the trees, please. Many of tree. We'll have that one at the back, please, as well. Don't think you've escaped. Get some of those things. Get all of this, actually. Oh, we've made a tier two nature wand. When did we do that? I don't know when we did that. Okay, I'm very surprised, but okie doke. Um, yeah, when did that happen? Did we acquire another potion of recharging? We must have done. We must have found one or picked one up or, I don't know, took one from down here in the underschool and moved it somewhere usable. I'm not quite sure, but okay. Right, so we have a level two nature wand. I think that means we pop down here right now and we summon a student. Let's get a student in with the level two nature wand, just because that seems like quite a good thing. So yeah, we'll have one of those, please. Um, do you know what? The wolfkin are not overly effective right now. So you two can nip down here and do this kind of stuff. You can sort of uh, bring the students in. That's going to be very helpful. So you can do that. And then we do want to graduate you three at some point. But right now, it's quite handy having you around to do lots of stuff around the school. Because, you know, we are doing many things. We're doing much in the way of gathering and harvesting and all that kind of stuff. So now that you're around... You can help us do that. Although no Alani appears to be doing completely nothing at all. Scheduled for tasks. Okay. 
carry out some of those tasks then, please. Um, the students aren't doing anything. Schedule for tasks. Why are you just sort of hanging around? Get Is, is tasks the wrong thing? Should they be doing something else? Um, I don't know. Class, recreation, eat, sleep. I thought they'd be doing all the stuff that they need to do. But no, they're not helping out at all. Maybe they don't. Maybe the students don't help out with this quite as much as I thought they did. They're just sort of hanging around, not doing anything. They kind of occasionally wave their wands around a bit. They're doing some stuff over there. They don't do harvesting by the look of it. There is a very concerted effort over here to get this sorted out. Look at this. There is a lot going on. Okay, very busy over there. Very busy. Ah, but we do have one of those. Okay, so we have ourselves a sun shadow tree planter in there. How much wood have we got? 73. Um, oh, hang on. We've done the research. The research is done. This is wonderful. So Phoenix Kiss Planter is done. That's very helpful. Um, we've got Quincy. Because, of course, yep, the names do go in alphabetical order. So the next one was Quincy. Okay, so Quincy, I think you're going to be around for a little while. Uh, you might even become a teacher at some point. Uh, let's have a look at your things over here. Your trial things. Oh, you've got loads of them. Crikey. You want to eat 10 gut berries. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, what do you get from that? Boosted hit points and mana. Oh, okay, that's quite good. Uh, you want to defeat a two skull or higher enemy party without any ally going unconscious. Okay, we could possibly give that a go. Um, be full, rested and relaxed at the same time. Great day. That's quite fun. Uh, charge a mana lantern three times and pet a refining beast 15 times. Right. Okay. I think if we are going to bring people in as teachers and if we are going to delve deeper into the underscore, we could do with trying to get as many of these done for the, yeah, the tier two wand students as we can before we then turn them into teachers because they do get some very good bonuses. They get some very exciting things. I mean, if we get that done, that's 50 maximum hit points and 50 maximum mana. That's another 25 hit points and mana. That's huge. That's 10 speed and another 50 hit points. That's a lot. That is quite a lot. So, okay, right. That's good. That's good. So you can do some teaching. This is all good. They're, they're learning stuff. Um, and now, Fire Wand. Fire Wand level two is wood, phoenix flower, potion of recharging. Okay, so the big thing now is a lack of potions of recharging. Okie dokie, that's fine. All right, get rid of the nature wand. We'll have the fire wand. Um, and we'll do, we've already got an earth. Jarrett's got the level two earth wand. Is it worth getting a level two lightning wand person in? Uh, yeah, do you know what? We'll pop that onto the list. We'll add that to the list. That's all fine. And then in terms of research, we then want to do the air one. So where's that? That's water. That one there. Okay, so research that, please. And then I think, yeah, can we get the alchemy station set up now? Can we put that? I mean, could it go in here now? Could the alchemy station go in there? Did we find a room that was good for alchemy? Um, I don't think we did find an alchemy room, did we? I think it's just a workshop. So maybe now that could go in there, in the room that's now been sort of vacated by the wand crafting thingamajig. That would work. Hopefully it's big enough. Please be big enough. Uh, Alchemist station. Oh, plenty of room in there. Loads of room. Uh, yeah, so pop that in like... Yeah, pop that in just there. That's fine. That can go in. Do we need a little kind of storage box in here, possibly? Do they need a little storage chest of some kind in there? That might be quite useful. Okay, we'll think about that as well. Right, class has ended. I think you're fighting a void shroom thing. Yeah, that's not great, is it? That's not great that that's right there. That's a bit of a nuisance. Right, get rid of it. Oh no, you didn't get rid of it. It's going to keep zapping people. Um, ah, harvest, uh, and harvesty. Paisley is going to harvest the void shroom. Although I do quite like the name harvesty. Uh, okay, wood is being chopped. 157 wood. Can we get the next tree in? That one there is 120 wood for a bristle cone tree planter, but it'll give us a different type of tree, which is quite fun. So we'll get one of those in as well. Okay, so we're slowly getting things sorted around here. We're slowly getting it done. And then if we put a big wall here, 
just to kind of separate this room off a little bit. And that can become our wood cuttery where they can make the wands. We'll put the big windows up there when we can eventually one day. Is that definitely all we need? Is that all we need for a wood cuttery? So the wand shaper, two or more trees, grounded and three or more large windows. Okay, so the windows are now the problem. Ah, however, over here, look, uh, come out of that. Yeah, there we go. The alchemist station is now in. Let's go and take a quick look. Oh, it looks very good. And it's turned it back into a workshop, which is wonderful. Okay, so we can now go and do some alchemy stuff. Potions of rejuvenation. That's all we can make right now. Okay, that's not what we want to do. Um, although I suppose, hang on, ectoplasm, ice petals. Why don't we just get somebody to make, well, let's make four of those, because why not? It'll give somebody a lovely fun job. They can go, you know, do some mixing of stuff, you know, I don't know, use beakers and test tubes and things, and then, um, yeah, hopefully it won't explode. And then I think that was Jarrett. Is Jarrett on the case there? I think Jarrett might be on the case. Oh, yes. Oh, that's very good. Oh, look, it's got a thing that fills up with various... Who put it on normal speed? Look, it's got sort of... I don't know. It is test tubey type things. Various things that fill up with liquids. Oh, that's exciting. I like that. That looks good. That looks very good. So we're going to start making our own potions. This is good. That's a good thing. And then we've popped it into there, look. And that's just going to carry it down to wherever it needs to go. Oh, that is very good. That is very good. I mean, really, should we... Should we sort of set this up as a potion flat, a potion chest? So all the potions go into here? Although that's actually not very practical, is it? Because really, all the potions should go down here. Because when they go down into the underscore, they can nip and get the potions from here nice and quick. Um, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. If I go and start fiddling about with that, we're going to have to go and change the sort of storage properties of every single chest. Which would get a little bit fiddly, wouldn't it? That would get quite fiddly and faffy. So, um, no, that's okay. That's all absolutely fine. That's all good. Then the only thing we want to really do... Uh, yeah, that's okay over there. That's fine. Um, I was going to say, just make sure they're only storing food stuff in the pantries over there. But they are, and that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, that's good. That works for me. Although, actually, thinking about it, would it not make sense, given that's the kitchen, to store all our food stuff in here? So all the ingredients, so say the rice and the gut berries and stuff, they can go in here. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should force all the food to go into the pantries. Because, yeah, that's got nothing in. That's got nothing in at all. And that there has got some bitter gruel. Okay, so, yeah, it's not, it's not really working very well in terms of how our food stuff is working, is it? So if they want to go and cook some food... They're going to have to go and grab it from somewhere else. Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe that's what we should do. So I think, yeah, maybe another pantry would be quite good. So another one of those, pop it against the back wall, possibly. That might be okay. So storage, get us a pantry, pop that in. In fact, you know what we could do? If we move that candelabra over, we could fit another one along that back wall there. That will make a bit more sense, I think. So yeah, let's go and do that. Right, there we go. The candelabra has been moved over and now we're just waiting for the pantry to get put together. So I think now what we have to do is go and find every single other little kind of storage box we've got and then tell them not to store food in them. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Now, can we go and do a thing like this? If we zoom out a bit and then double click like that, ah, Okay, yes, yeah, so we've selected six storage boxes. That's quite good. Is that all of them, though? If I zoom out a bit more and do that... Hang on, if I... Oh, no, oh, no I've picked it up. I didn't want to move it. If we do... Hang on, I thought double-clicking it... I thought double-clicking it picked them all, but now it appears to be not doing that. It's just picking all the ones in that room, I think. Ah, okay. I mean, that's good. That's quite helpful, but it's not exactly what we wanted. Okay, meal ingredients... Don't store things in there. Apart from I can't clear it for some... Why can't I clear it? Why can't I clear that? Is it because we've selected six things? Form an action affects all selected. Okay. I don't want to store meal ingredients in there. Why can't I turn that off? Uh, okay. That's a surprise. We haven't got to do it all individually, have we? Oh my goodness me. Okay. Okay. Fine. Be like that then. No meal ingredients. Um, 
yeah, the problem with it, doing it from this angle, look, is that there's stuff just there. Look. So I click on that box and then it pops up here and then I have to go like out of it and like that's a bit fiddly. But okay, right. Meal ingredients, turn all those off. Okay. So now they're not storing meal ingredients down there. And then also don't store meals in these either. Don't store meals. And I think because we have got the quilted helpers, they can just sort of, you know, move stuff around whilst everyone else is asleep. That's going to work quite well, isn't it? There we go. So take off all the meals and stuff from these. So no food stuff and no meals down here. And then we're going to have to do the same for all the other storage boxes. So no meal ingredients or meals in that one. No meal ingredients or meals in that one. Definitely not in this one either. So meal ingredients and meals, no. And then in that chest just there, no meal ingredients, no meals. And have we got any more? I think we have. Yeah, there's one there. Okay, so nothing in that one or that one either. And there we go. I think now the quilted carriers should start bringing all the food from all the different storage boxes and they should put it into here, which is going to be very helpful because that means the food, the raw ingredients, are near to the gruel pot, which is where we do the cooking. So that does make sense. So that's got one bit of gruel in it. That has got quite a lot of gut berry soup. It's got many gut berries, carcass stew, bitter ice, bitter gruel. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a bit better. Um, I mean, animal parts? I don't think we store animal parts in here, although it's probably not too much of a bother. As long as the food is up here, that's absolutely fine. Right, that's getting put together as well. So there we go. A little bit of kind of, little bit of management there to try and sort things out. I mean, you could probably go to town quite a bit with it. You could do quite a lot of that, but we're not going to. Oh, ah, we did that research. Smoke reed planter is done. Okie doke. This is handy. So now can we, where are we? So wand crafting, fire wand, and we want an air wand. Where are we? Air wand level two. Again, potions of recharging required. So do that. Go back into research. Now we need this because that means we can then make potions of recharging, which is ectoplasm and viscera. Okay, so set research to go and do that, please. Get that sorted. And while we're doing that, we will then build a wall in here. Uh, we'll pause time. People are coming through here at the minute. Let's not block them in. Right, there we go. That'll do. So if we build a wall like that all the way up, then that should then separate that room off from that room. And then we can put some windows in here and that's going to be quite good. And that can eventually become our kind of woodcuttery type thing. That would be quite good. I'd be quite happy with that. Unless we just have loads of trees across the back and then move this somewhere else. Can we move that somewhere else? What if we pick that up and put it in one of these rooms? That room's not doing anything. In fact, that room's doing completely nothing. Why don't we pick that up? That room there can just be full of trees at the back and then just lots of windows when we get them. Because that room, to make it a woodcuttery thing, doesn't have to be uh, like lofted or whatever. It doesn't need the big wall sort of, you know, coming down the middle. Maybe that's what we do. Yeah, do you know what? Let's mix things up a bit. So we'll pick that up, and we'll put that... Uh, oh, does that have to go on the floor? That can't go up. Oh, botherations, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, maybe then... Maybe it could go in here. Could we rejig that room so it can go into there? Because it can't seem to fit anywhere else at the minute. It does need quite a lot of room in front of it, doesn't it? It needs a lot of space in front of it. I mean, could we put it at the back? Could we put it at the back there? I'd, I'd be good if we could find out why properties do it, placeable on floors and on the ground. Well, that's not what I just saw just there. Um, yeah, three by three by six, unless it just can't fit into these spaces. But there's plenty of room for it there, and we can't move it there. Is it because it, the ceiling isn't high enough? Now I actually don't know. Uh, I don't, now I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe these rooms are too, they're not tall enough. Maybe they're not tall enough to accommodate the thing. Aha, over here. Okay, we can make use of one of these things. We'll just put this in for now. Uh, let's tuck that into the corner, possibly. So, um, 
yeah, that, oh, no, let's put it like that, look actually. So it's got its full kind of, in fact, that gives it the full green space in front of it. So pop that there, like that, move that over, and then we'll move the uh, mana lantern thing as well. So just move that kind of, maybe just into the middle, just into the middle of the room, possibly. That might be quite good. And then we can just put more trees across the back. And that can then really be a proper woodcutting room, which is going to be good eventually when we ever get there. Um, okay, right. Oh, look, a tree. A tree has grown. Oh, that is quite exciting. I'm excited by a tree growing. And a school full of wizards and magic and everything else. I'm really excited that a tree has grown. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, I think maybe Noelani, Olive and Pranas, they can now go. I think we can graduate them. They can depart and we'll pick up some more Adept Scrolls. We're down to 12 of those, so it would be quite good if we could do this. So here we go, rituals on the thing. Let us graduate some students, and it can be you and you. We get eight scrolls from you, and then Pranas, I don't think, did anything extra. I think Noelani did get a medallion or two. So there you go, you three can depart. The other one, of course, isn't ready to go quite yet. And um, yeah, Bernard does tend to do this. Bernard does do this. So yeah, Bernard, you can do that again. 22 Adept Scrolls coming our way. That's going to be really good. That's going to be very helpful. Right, so you lot come over here. Um, and uh, farewell. Farewell. I notice one of you is late. Okay, Pranas, there we go. Oh, crikey. You all go in at the same time. And we've created this kind of, this awful abomination thing. Could you not have done it one at a time, Bernard? <laughs> No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, so if we run time on nice and quick, get that done, and boom. Okay, so now we're down to just one student, which is okay. And I think, again, ooh, summon gifted student. Choose a one to grant to a new gifted student. Uh, okay, why can we do that now? Is it because, oh, it's because we've got quite a lot of adept scrolls. You need 30, oh, no, 15, sorry. You need 15 of them, and also 15 arcane scrolls. Oh, that's quite exciting. However, we won't do that now. We will bring in maybe some gifted level 2 wand users when we can do that. Um, for now, we do have some other wands. Uh, there's a couple. Have we got two dark ones? Two level 1 dark ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's bring them in. Um, and uh, yeah, Betty, that seems appropriate, doesn't it? Yep, there you go. Bring you in. That's going to be very helpful. Okay, new student incoming. Who do we have? It is Rain. Okay, hello, Rain. How are you? Right, Betty, don't go too far away because we have the other dark wand. So you can bring in another student with another dark wand. So there we go. Go and do that again. It takes a little bit longer each time now. So it was half an hour. Then it goes up to 45 minutes. And I imagine the next one is an hour. You know, following a pattern there. So then hopefully, who are we going to get out? We've got Sage. Okay, Sage is a raven cult person. And then, I oh, see, now we can't do a gifted student. Two staff, one must be staff. Two staff, two staff, one must be staff. Um, I don't get why we suddenly don't have enough staff to do that. Why don't we have enough staff to bring in gifted students when we did not that long ago? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, and then to bring in a nature wand person, uh, let's get, I don't know, uh, none of these are nature, are they? Uh, Jarrett can come in and Danny, why not? There you go, Jarrett and Danny do that for an hour and that effectively uses up all our wands. So all the wands are then done, that's all very good. Right. Okay, so get that. Oh no, a chest smasher wanders the halls. I can see it just there breaking stuff. Let's go to battle with the chest smasher. Um, do any of you want to go and have a fight? Are any of you big into having fights? That is dancing in a room with an enchanto phone. Okay, that's dancing on your own. Defeat a one skull, a one skull or higher enemy party while rested. Are you rested? I don't know. Uh, and charge a mana lantern. They all do quite like charging mana lanterns, don't they? Uh, maybe we could take rain and uh, maybe not you. I want to do with fighting. Oh, okay. So rain and sage. Does Quincy want to do a fight on? Quincy's got loads of things. Yeah. So which one? Do you have a fighting one? Is there a fighting thing? That's a two skull or higher enemy party without anybody going unconscious. Okay. So we'll take rain and sage. 
that might be quite good. And then we just pick some others. So uh, yeah, where are we? Chest Smasher, go to battle. Um, yeah, Rain and Sage can go potentially. Although Sage has got quite a lot of hit points. So you can go at the front. So that can be like that. Rain is a dark magic user, as is Sage. Okay, so two dark magic people there. Um, although you do work quite well at the back because then you can use your shadow cloaky and then your shadow striking thing. Um, at the front, we will put Dave and... Ah, bother. Okay. Um, possibly Frost? I mean, I kind of feel like we should take Jarrett, but Jarrett's currently doing the summoning student thing. Okay, we'll wait. Let's wait for Jarrett to finish summoning a student. Possibly that was not the right decision, but never mind. It's come down here, look. We're going to fight that thing in a minute and make it stop destroying all of our things because that just wastes our time. So, uh, yeah, what have we got? Half an hour left. So bring a new person. What have we got? ST. Okay, uh, here we go. Place your bets as to what the name is going to be. Um, I think it's going to be Tobias. I think that's going to be the name of our next person. Tobias, let's see. If it is, it's Tory. Oh, I kind of hoped it was Tobias then. I was going to be like, oh, look at me. I can predict the future, but no, <laughs> never mind. Right now, I think we can go and have a fight with that thing. So those two at the back. And then, yeah, we'll put Jarrett at the front. So there we go. And we'll just take... I mean, really, we'll take a potion of greater rejuvenation for hit points, just in case the kids at the back take some damage, and then possibly, what's a revival flask do? Ah, okay, bring somebody back. Strength is a bit stronger. Rejuvenation is hit points. Okay, so, um, yeah, we'll take two of those, and then just take a couple of dragonfire flasks. Let's go and deal with this. Come on, because this thing is, is causing trouble. It is vandalizing all of our stuff. So, yeah, look, we've got poor, uh, who was that, Danny trying to repair all the damage. So, yeah, if we could, if we could go and deal with this thing soon, there we go. And we're outside for some reason. I mean, it doesn't really sound that much of a chance, but okay, right. We shall earth armor. So it'll attack us and not anybody else. Uh, ah, they can't do their hiding thing right now, but you can just do tentacle lash. So there you go. That's some damage. You can tentacle lash as well for less damage. Okay, that's fine. That must be because you're not a kind of a, a raven person. Uh, right, here we go. Dave, fireball, kaboom, down to 70. You are still on 100 armor, so you can smash that thing with a big slab of rock. It's down to 15. Oh, look at this. This is exciting. Sage, you get your first kill. There you go. Boom. It does a scream, and it goes down. Two arcane scrolls, six ectoplasm. That's actually quite good. We need that to make the potions. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's been defeated. Everybody can have a little bit of a break. And, um, yeah, Sage has completed one of their things. So when we do eventually say farewell to them, when they graduate, they will bring in more scroll things, which is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we were doing something with our little woodcuttery room down here. We were going to put more trees in, weren't we? So they've moved the mana lantern. So I think now, yeah, we can do that. What's that up there? What's happening there? Oh, it's when they're cooking. It's when they're cooking, look. And the food is kind of splashing around and it's even coming through the through the floor and going through there. Okay, that's that's probably not great, but never mind. Right, so let's get some more trees in over here then. Because, yeah, that's quite good. I like that. So we'll go to garden. Let's get in... I kind of feel like, really, we should get another bristle cone thing and then another sun shadow one at the edge. Can we do that? Have we got enough room for that? Yes, we have. Okay, so we'll have the sun shadow trees on the end, and then we'll have the bristle cone trees in the middle. That seems pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we'll have that look. So do that. We are going to need some more wood. Uh, yeah, we might need to do something about the fog. The fog is getting quite close. Now, I know I said last time, oh, don't forget about the fog, but um, yeah, the fog is encroaching a little bit there. So maybe in the morning, when everybody's had a lovely night's sleep, we will go and push the fog back quite a bit. We'll use Jarrett because Jarrett can do it quite well. And um, yeah, we'll just see if we can just push that fog back because it is getting a teeny tiny bit close. I mean, if it gets too close on this side, it'll destroy our little kind of garden set up over here, which would be quite bad. That wouldn't be great at all. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. But OK, at the minute, I think everybody is asleep. Although, hang on a second, Paisley, are you about to finish the research? I think you are, and boom, done.
Okay, that's really good. That's very exciting. Right, so we're going to go and do some more of this already. So I think we've got... Have we got that done? No. Okay, so uh, we could... Is pick-me-ups done or not done? I thought we'd just done pick-me-ups. Why doesn't it have a board around it? Uh, oh, because we've got that thing selected. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Uh, right, so we haven't got domesticated ice flowers. So we can't get tier two water ones yet. It might be worth just getting that done. Just do that. And that's that kind of then done. I think we've got, yeah, get that done now. And then do the level two dark ones research over there. And then that'll be it kind of all sorted then. That'll be it all done. Okay, there we go. So we should be able to get all the level two one stuff done. That's pretty good. So yeah, come out of that. But now that means where's the potion thing? We can then begin to work on potions of recharging. Was it recharging? It was potions of recharging, wasn't it? Hang on, go and have a quick check. Click on that, fire wand, potion of recharging. So we definitely need another three of those to get those ones sorted out. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to make precisely three of those. There we go, and push that to the top. Uh, yeah, potions of rejuvenation can go, that's fine. Bravery potion. Oh, we needed that for a cure for Dave at one point. Do you remember that? Many moons ago now, it seems. We needed that for a cure for the ritual to get rid of his fear, or whatever it was. But, okay, right. So now we've got more research on the go. That's pretty good. And Paisley, I think, is going to go right back and do that because that's a sort of a... This is a priority five thing to get sorted out. But, yeah, there you go. Making a little dent into the next bit of research. So I think, yeah, before we wrap things up today... I would like to get the level two ones crafted. That would be quite good. I'd be quite happy to get those done. So get the level two fire wand done and the level two air wand done. So get those both made. Uh, we're going to push the fog back as an absolute definite because it's getting a little bit too close for comfort. Don't like the scary fog. And then I think we try and get the final two bits of research completed so we can just make any level two wand. So I think there's only two bits left. The one we're working on now and the one for the level two dark magic ones. And I think once that's done, we will then wrap things up for this part. I think that's what we'll do. Be a little way to go yet. Yeah, some stuff to get sorted out. So uh, yeah, let's let time tick on nice and quick. And we'll just see how people get on with all of those things that we just said that we're going to try and do. Oh, we need to get another light source down in the potential wood cuttery room as well, because another little void room did appear. And I think they've dealt with it now, but it was causing a few problems. So let's get another candelabra, put that just there. Okie doke, right. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, with the two candelabras, that should make that room nice and bright. If not, I would be tempted to just pop a couple of windows into the corners. Just to see if that does help, but I don't know. We'll see if they, uh, if this actually makes any difference. It does take a while for them to actually put a candelabra together. They seem to be able to do some things very quickly and some take a while, but there we go. Ah, Tori's completed one of their trials. That is very good indeed. Happy about that. That means we get another scroll out of you when you graduate, which is wonderful. Dave got bored of doing that. Can we go and finish this? I don't want more void shrooms coming in and causing problems because they are a little bit of a nuisance. Oh, there we go, look, there we go. Frost comes in to finish the job, and boom. And the room is still a bit dark. Okay, what lighting level is it on? It's on 510 out of 1056. Um, hang on a minute, I don't know, how's that calculated? Oh, it's ever so slightly just below. Oh, okay, no, we can sort that out. We can sort that out with one of those, possibly because we ran out of wood to do the other stuff. Okay, no, this is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's all fine. Uh, we'll put that next to that look. So uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of that look and uh, that should then finish that room off. But we need the other tree thing in, of course. We need the tree in. Oh, and fog. Fog, fog, fog. Very important. Let's push the fog back. Can we do a superior one? No. It would be good if we could because that's significantly better, but we are going to need a bit more wood. And I don't know if we can see any more trees right now. No, we can't. Okay, so we can't do that. So we're going to have to do a regular one for now. So just repel the fog. What did it need? Gut berries. Oh, and only just enough wood there. 
Oh, crikey. Okay, right. We are, That was pushing it a little bit fine there. Uh, so Jarrett can push it back a bit more. And then Frost and Danny can just do what they can. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Begin that ritual. Doesn't take long. Repel Fog ritual cannot begin. Why? Why can't it begin? Explain to me why. <laughs> Students need a teacher. Skill level gained. Uh, okay. Uh, Quincy, how are you doing for your trial things? Have you done any of these yet? Have you eaten 10 gut berries? You're allowed to go and eat gut berries. You are permitted. Can we tell you to go and eat gut berries? Um, you're gonna, you're having a class there. We can't sort of right click and tell you to eat gut berries. Uh, how do we control, ah, consume. Okay, all staff are allowed to eat those. Um, just gut berries. Oh no, but the gut berries are there, look. The gut berries are available to the students. They're not eating the soup of gut berries, but they've got the raw gut berries permitted. Okay, we will see if they complete that. I'll go and check the ones in a minute. Is that in? Is that room now lit? Yay! Finally. Okay. Uh, now they are doing the thing. They are doing the thing. Maybe it couldn't begin because the teachers weren't there, I assume. Right, so shove the fog back a bit, please. Let's just push it back a little way. Okay, so back to seven days. That's better than nothing because now we can get to more trees. So chop that down, please. Chop that down. Oh, we've got a thing. We've got a thing over there, a misty crystal. Go and work on that as well. And I think, yeah, there are plenty of people around doing all this stuff. And then over here, yeah, got trees over here as well. So go and grab that one, please. And uh, do we need all this other stuff? We're okay for stone and things, I think. Grab a little bit of stone from there and those things as well. And a rat. Why not? In fact, grab several rats. Why not? Because because it's just a thing to do, isn't it? There we go. In fact, you know, we will clear those out there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that thing. Because, yeah, it's just a bit of a nuisance with those things growing around there. So there we go. We'll sort that out as well. Um, and, oh, We've done the other research. Aha, right. Okay, wonderful stuff. Now we can go to here. We can do that just there. Set research. Yes, we've done creepy, uh, creepiest quilting. Creepiest quilting, I meant to say. Set that research. That's only 600 for that. And that means we can grow spore shrooms. And then I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, I would then like to start getting the wands crafted. So yeah, can we... Have we done this on here yet? Have we made the potions? I think we have. I think we've got the potions of recharging done. Uh, we've got a lightning one level two made. Okay, that's good, isn't it? Why can't we do the fire wand? A lack of wood. No game, no. Okay, lightning wand. Okay, that's fine. Fire wand and air wand. So we've got only two potions of recharging as well. Oh, they made the lightning one first. Okay, that's fine. Right, so go back over here. Two more potions. In fact, do four. Do four potions of recharging, somebody. Somebody work on that. Get your potion magic on, please. That'd be really handy. I think everyone's now knocking off for the day, aren't they? Are you doing a spot of research? That a tiny, tiny fraction of research. But yeah, if you could get that done. Um, and then eventually, we can chop down some trees and get some wood. But right now, yeah, wood. We've only got 39, so we haven't got enough to make the wands. Deary, deary me. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, not great. Not great. Um, I'm tempted as well. Given that this is a one-tier thing, a one-difficulty thing, should we maybe go down here? Should we go and have a little battle down here? Three battles, get some lovely goodies from down here, take Jarrett along... Um, and Frost, of course, take those two. Maybe take Bernard and even take Quincy. Would it help Quincy? Quincy wants to fight. It's a two skull or higher enemy party, though, without any ally going unconscious. Although, uh, yeah, it'd be good that if there was a counter on these. So it says there, charge a mana lantern three times. Have you done it once? Have you done it at all? I don't know. And we haven't got a refining beast. Maybe... We could go down into, say, the fungal cavern with Quincy at the back, Jarrett up front, and then Frost at the back, and then possibly Dave up front, and just see how that goes. Because then Quincy will complete, yeah, this kind of goal of theirs, 
And I think that'll be a good way to wrap things up because we haven't had a fight yet. I know we did have a fight. We fought against the messy meddler, whatever it was, actually. But yeah, we haven't got a sort of dungeon fight just yet. So it would be quite good to get that done. It's night time right now, though. So we'll let everybody have a lovely sleep. Uh, the fog has already sort of come back and encroached a bit, which is a bit of a nuisance because we're running out of wood. Um, yeah, gather that tree there, please. Go and get all the wood we can because we need much wood. All the wood, please, because, uh, yeah, we need to make the wands and then I think as well to push the fog back a bit more. That is... Oh, hang on, that's changed. The superior repel fog thing is now wormweed pods and viscera. Okay, we've got that. I think in the morning we'll do a superior repel fog thing and then we'll take Quincy on a fun trip down here. Um, maybe we'll just clear that one out. Let's nip back into the stone ruins again and then just work our way across there. And then we'll come down here and have a look around the wonderful sounding fungal cavern. Okay, everybody is awake. People are having a bite to eat in the morning, which is good. I think now everybody has had food. Oh no, Frost hasn't had food. Hang on, let's let Frost go and eat some food. Some cooking is underway as well. Right, okay, so they've done all that. How are we doing for the potions? Nobody's doing the potions. Can we please up the priority on that? Betty's going to go and do that, which is wonderful. However, job number one, let's push the fog back quite away, please. So we need four people to do that. So Jarrett can repel it quite far. Um, do you know what? Bernard. Bernard can go and do that as well. So there we go. That's going to push it back quite a long way, which is handy. So begin that ritual for one and a half hours. And then when that's finished... The fog can then get pushed back way further back than just six days away. And then I think we'll nip down here and look around the stone ruins with Quincy in tow. Just so Quincy can complete their kind of goal thingamajig. Because yeah, if they are going to become a teacher, which they could do because they have got a pretty good wand. Then uh, yeah, we want to get all their kind of medallion things sorted. So they're a really good character when they join us. So that's now underway. The fog is back to 14 days. Well done, everybody. Good job. Uh, gather that wood just there. Gather, do you know what? There's, there's wood. So much wood over here. Gather all of that wood. We need lots of wood. Because we're going to make lots of wands. So uh, yeah, we'll have all that wood, please. And all of that wood over there. All of the trees. Can we get the tree at the back, please? Tree at the back. You're not escaping this one. Sorry about that. Okay. Right, there we go. So that's that all done. Have we done... Yes, we've done the research to get the dark ones now available. So we can do tier two dark ones, which again is pretty good. So now, where do we head with our research? I think what we want to do is we want to put large windows into things. That needs a large window. So hang on a second. What did we need to put a large window? Frost glass. Right. Remind me, game. Glass or frost glass, whatever it was. Okay, it was this thing over here. So the crone bug. So we need to have a crone bug pen. Uh, it's got to be hatched. Uh, and then, yeah, that needs rune wood. So we can't do that quite yet, but we will get there eventually. So yeah, that allows us to make frost glass with the crone bug. Okay, and sculpt stone as well, which sounds nice. So we will spend a little bit of our resource on this. So we'll spend, I mean, that's quite a lot of our arcane scrolls on that. But I think in the long run, it's probably worth it. So get that done. Set that as our research, please. That's going to take a little while to get done. So yeah, a few scrolls here and there. That's all fine. So that means eventually we can start making big windows but we are going to have to put down a crone bug pen or whatever. But that could go in there, I suppose. That could go into the spare room over there. Or, you know, into one of these bits over here, maybe. So really, the next big goal is to get this sorted out. Is to get this done. I want to get as a weaver bird. Because then we can start making the fancy kind of materials that they can produce. That's what I want to do. Ooh, a battle. Where is it? The ang Oh, the angry crystal's right over there. It's a tier two fight. Oh, we could take Quincy along for that. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll have a tier two fight over here, shall we? Uh, yeah, so you and you on the front, and then put Quincy at the back, and then possibly, yeah, Frost. Frost comes in at the back, uh, and we'll have rejuvenation is hit points. Take two of those. We'll take three dragonfire flasks. 
just in case things do go a little bit wonkaloids. Uh, rejuvenation, take maybe two of those for hit points. Recharging is mana, we'll take two of those. And recharging is a smaller mana potion. Or revival flask? Let's take a revival flask. There we go. That'll do. Right. Begin that battle. Or do this battle. It's right at the edge of the fog. Look. I can't move the camera over any further. It's one square away from oblivion. So we have to come over here really quickly before the fog starts moving. And then also, if we do get stuff out of it, we've got to go and pick up that stuff very quickly. Have we got any quilty helpers available to help us? Are the quilty helpers around? I can't really see them. Oh no, there are some. There are some. Okay, no, we have got quilted carriers around. This is all very good. Right, I can see people making their way over. Who are we waiting for? I think there's only one person left. Oh, I think it is Quincy. Okay, Quincy, hi. Welcome to your first battle. This, oh, it could be quite tough. It could be quite tough. Right, Vengeance, the front row. That's going to be good. Oh, they've got the multi-splash spell thing. You can... I mean, Earth Armor will do nothing against these two. Well, it, it, it'll absorb damage from Jarrett, but we need to take them out, really. So possibly just target you and then hope that it just causes a big pile of damage. Right, that's good. Um, okay, what do we do? We haven't used a nature purse in a while. Surging strength is 10 power. And that attacks and applies thorns. Ah, okay. Thorn sounds quite good. Let's put some thorns around you to maybe slow you down a bit. Okay, so you take us some damage. That is quite a big hit. Oh, crikey. Is okay. Frost is down to 40. Ah, okay. We have to take down the hallowed one. If you could get a critical now, Dave, that would be the best thing. Pl yes. Oh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come here you big quilty person and we can have a nice hug and it'll be a good hug because you're all soft. Um, I think, do we heal up? Do we heal up Frost? Because Frost is on a half hit points and they do hit quite hard. They have got a little while, but yeah, I think let's use that potion of rejuvenation to restore 50 hit points to you so you'll go back up to the top which is good and i think does that count to your turn no so you still get a go right so you fireball that critical brilliant thank you frost you can then smash that in the face possibly you can hit that in the face okay so there we go bang and then maybe hang on your thorns can take that down Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay, so that can now no longer attack us in, which is good. Uh, we're firing back at that thing. And now it's just whale on the poor thing at the back. Just everybody, throw everything you've got at this. Another fireball coming in. It's probably a critical. It's not a critical. Um, you can smash it in the face. One big hit with a bit of wall. There you go. Down it goes. We've dealt with that. 20 smoke pearls, 7 scrolls, another mana crystal, and some innards. Lovely. Okay, and there we go. Quincy has completed their thing over there, which is really good. Uh, got a bit of a rash. They're in pain. I think we've got some people who need to heal up, but that's okay. But in terms of your medallion, you've got that. So that gives you, there you go, a boost to hit points and speed. That is not too shabby at all. That is very good. Okay, right. One of those out the way. Um, and then we just need people to come over here and pick up all this stuff. Fractal Mold. Have we ever seen that before? I don't think we have. Okay, there is a new thing. But uh, yeah, we need the quilted carriers to come and pick up all this stuff really, really soon. Because I think, yeah, if it does get got by the fog, then it's just going to be destroyed, isn't it? That's kind of what the fog does. That's the fog's thing. When does the fog move? What time does it do its thing? Because if it does it at five o'clock in the evening, then we've lost some quite good stuff. I imagine the quilter carriers are racing back on their teeny tiny legs as quick as they can. Yeah, look, another one's coming back this way. Really, we want to get the smoke pearls and the scrolls. The potions are okay, but the smoke pearls and the scrolls are what we kind of really need to get. Ah, they've grabbed the, um, they've grabbed the smoke pearls. That's good. Something else is coming along to grab. Ah, okay. Ah, here we go. Arcane scrolls being put in storage. Okay. I mean, if we lose these, 
bit of a nuisance, but it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And you know what? We will crack that open. We will crack that open. We will crack that open as well. And this one over here. Um, nope, that one there. There we go. Break open all the smoky crystals because they might have really handy things. There's loads of them. There's loads of crystally things around this time. Wow, so many crystals. What about this side? Any smoky crystals over here? There's two. Nick, oh, that's a misty crystal. That's slightly different, but okay. We'll have those two as well. And there's one there. There are so many. Okay, and I think with that done, we will pause time. And then when we come back next time, we can get on with maybe bringing in a level two fire person and a level two air person. And then using their powers with their powers combined, they can then get the refining bird thing out of this. And then we'll just see how that works because we haven't got a refining beast yet. We've not had one of those before. So we'll see how that kind of plays out. Um, and then I think really we need to then try to get the frost glass or whatever it was. So maybe get another refining beast thing in. The one that we're researching now, I think possibly. It'd take a little while to get that done. But get a crone bug in. That's it. They can start making the frost glass. We can then maybe turn that room into a proper actual kind of fancy woodcuttery room to make it a bit better for our wands. And then we'll just go from there. But I think, yeah, we've done okay. We've done okay. I think, yeah, we need to start maybe trying to get Quincy to do some more medallion things to make them really good if we're going to recruit them. And then, yeah, start recruiting other people with the level two ones. And then slowly phase out you wonderful folks. I mean, you know, it's going to be sad saying farewell to Dave and Betty and Bernard and Danny and indeed Frost eventually. But, you know, you're level one, you're level one users. And, you know, I think now it's time for you to retire. So, you know, eventually at some point in the nearish future, we shall be having a little bit of a reshuffle of the staffing here at the Geek Cupboard School of Geek Crafting Geekery. But we'll see how that goes next time. I mean, things are relatively slow paced in this game. So maybe it won't happen next time. I do not know. And we'll look at maybe getting some different rooms in as well. Possibly having in a really a kind of exciting research room or what was the big kind of fancy room? Uh, one of those would be quite nice. A mage hermitage would be good. But where was the... It was like a big... One of these, look. A house commons. Sounds really exciting. That sounds quite good. So yeah, if we could get one of those in, that would also be pretty fantastic. But again, that requires large windows. So until we get those sorted out, we can't do any of this stuff. But plenty to do when we come back next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mind Over Magic. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. We are going to be known as the Keepers of the Team. Betty is very clever. Oh, she's very clever. It's Betty. It's the hat, I think. So let's injure you. So, oh, okay, or not. <laughs> Fine, don't injure them then. It's a no from us right now, Robert. But you know what? Have this tea. Take this tea away with you. They've kind of died a bit. Okay. <laughs> Look at all of the tea we've got going on. This is wonderful. 